Well, today I have a problem. I keep breaking spokes on the rear wheel of my bicycle. Okay, we are broken. Alright, we're broken. But this is a 32 spoke wheel, and I don't feel like messing with it anymore. So I'm going to replace it with a 36 spoke wheel. And I'm going to lace it myself. Got one, matches the front wheel too. This bicycle has an electric motor on the front wheel. Despite the fact that it has disc brakes, the e-bike kit came with a machined front rim. So the rim that I got for the back has the machining on it. That way they match. For today's project, to replace the wheel that came with my bike, which is a 32 spoke. going to use a 36 spoke rim DT Swiss TK540 it's double walled and it has eyelets for the spokes it's an extra strong rim for the hub I'm going to use a Shimano Diore FH-M756A 36 spoke with a 6 hole disc option I can put my 9 speed cassette on here for the spokes I'm going to use DT Champion spokes 2.0 in order to find the right length spoke I went online, I used a couple of different spoke calculators, I put in all the information from the hub and from the rim. And there's a different size spoke for both sides, but it's close enough that I can use a 286 for both. going to skip one hole and then I'm going to go onto the hub and I'm going to go onto the rim and I'm going to count one, two, three skip those go into the fourth hole and I'm going to follow that same pattern all the way around First course of spokes done. Flip it on over.
have these two courses in. It's time to start on the ones that come from the inside. Third, you can start anywhere. Over, over, under this one. I'll skip a hole from the one that I just went under. Go into this hole. Spoke in the nipple. Next hole over. Over one. Over a second one. Under. Skip a hole. hole. Over, over, under. On to the next one. The thing about putting oil on the spoke, put a little in here and it gets on the threads, but it'll also, it gets on the nipple body so that when you go to drive it in when you go to tighten it really tight there's no problems there over one over the second one under the third grabbing it with my other hand so that I don't scratch the rim It's time to do the spokes on this side. Over, over, under. Careful not to scratch the paint. to the next one. Oil on the threads. Over, over, under. 
the next step is to go around and tighten up all the spokes. I'm going to tighten them all until the threads start to disappear. Wheel starting to come together. Still got a long ways to go tightening these spokes. Doing it little by little. Making sure it stays true. Got the spokes nice and tight, especially the ones on this side. Got the wheel trued. Now I have to grab the old wheel, switch over the rotor, the cassette, the tire, tube, and rim strip. This is not going to fit on the new hub.
Now the old rim uses a Schrader valve. Couldn't find a rim this nice. They used a Schrader valve. This one uses a Presta. I'm switching over to a Presta valve. Only thing left now is to go put it on the bike. This new rear wheel matches that front wheel a lot better.